Aloha, so welcome. Got my crystal rainbows going on. It's my little disco ball in the studio. Um, <laughs> so I just wanted to show you what I'm up to. I am laying down a track right now, and this is a chance that I am recording to Gaia, to the Mother Earth. And I really wanted to put in the sound of cuckoo nut shells which um, I brought home from Kauai. And you're not gonna hear the track, but I'm keeping a 70 beats per minute rhythm for the song, so here we go. Let me show you something. In recording this, I noticed that it clipped, which means this went all the way up, and that causes distortion, so we don't want that. Uh, I think I'll do one more shaker, and I really like this one. Um, my mom gave me this, so this has got another really cool, natural sound. I don't know what's in there, but... Gaiyama, Gaiyama. Gaiyama Sophia, Gaiyama, 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 Gaiyama Sophia, Gai. Um, Gaia. Oh, Pachamama. Pachamama. So there's a lot of parts to this, a lot of different sounds. So that's just a little sampler of like some of the layering that I've been doing. So right now I'm here in my little studio space and it's very humble, small space. And it's basically, you know, got my computer and a microphone and monitor speakers, headphones, and that's pretty much it. Um, a little interface, and I got my piano here. I've got lots of really sweet instruments that I'm working with as well, and I'm just really wanting to create a magical, beautiful soundscape to accompany my songs. So yeah, I've been putting in Guitar, ukulele, um, singing bowls, chimes, bells, all kinds of really beautiful percussive instruments, different kinds of shakers, and my piano allows me to create lots of really awesome sounds through the MIDI capabilities. There's just hundreds of world instruments that I can um, include through the use of the keyboard, and I love that. So I call this space the Saraswati Lounge, and every morning I wake up and I meditate on the energies of creativity within me. And Saraswati is the goddess of music and the arts and higher wisdom and writing and speech. So this is a, a yantra I, I painted, Saraswati yantra. So this is it, you guys. You guys, this is my little space, my creation station, where I sit and put my prayers and my music, surrounded by lots of inspirational art. So the animal totems are present with me, especially that of the owl, which has been a big part of this journey in creating elemental beings. Grateful for the teachings and insights I've received into the truth and being true myself, which is what I feel the owl represents. This is the Hawaiian short eared owl named Pueo. Um, this is a card I got from my, my parents. be hearing the owl throughout the album actually. I've been loving incorporating 
animal sounds into my, into my songs. So as I create music, I have lots of beautiful artwork surrounding me, inspiring me. And this painting I've been looking at a lot, and it's by Isabella Mariposa. I believe she lives in Kauai. This is where I got the print. And, um, yeah, this one too. I love this one. Um, Jessica Pearlstein. It's just amazing, all of the life forms that you can see within the body. So yes, this is a very powerful time that we are all in and part of together. I really feel like it's a powerful time for women also in awakening and reclaiming the feminine power and embodying that power on the planet. It's so very much needed. There's been an imbalance for so long. And I have a song on the album called Women of the World that sings to that. And yeah, we are coming out of this, this trance of this mechanistic, materialistic mindset and coming into remembering really who we are and what our purpose is here more than just being these slaves to a system that's meant to enslave us so i'm hoping that these songs will inspire our sense of sovereignty and healing is a big part of it too we're all on a healing journey of remembering who we are and reclaiming our divinity and our sacredness and really setting our priorities straight and really getting clear with what is of true value in our life. Aloha. May you shine like the moon, fly like a bird on wings of liberation. We will rise. and voices and unite. It's time to take a stand for the sacredness of life. It's time to take a stand for the sacredness of life. little video so really I hope this music inspires and empowers those who listen to it to remember the power that they have inside of them all the time and to embody that and be the light force that is needed on the planet at this time we are all powerful beings with gifts to share we all need to play our parts. It's called our sacred responsibility on the planet at this time. So thank you so much for being part of this creation with me.
change.